Hello there, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at uh, UV unwrapping in Blender. Uh, so I have this model I made in a previous tutorial. You can look it up in my videos. Uh, so we're going to UV unwrap this and maybe in, a, in part two we'll be uh, texturing uh, the image, uh, the object or the shoe. So we, we can go to UV editing uh, so that we can start working, adding our UVs. Uh, so UV unwrapping is just simply a way of uh, flat flattening out uh, the, surf the 3D surface of an object into a 2D uh, surface. So to do that, you just, you can, there are a few ways to do that. You can uh, go to edit mode, select everything, and then if you hit you, you will get this uh, menu here, or you can go up here, you will see the UV option. It, only, it is only available in uh, edit mode. And you can see the options we, ha we have here. We have unwrap. Uh, let's, this just gives you, uh, th this unwraps uh, the UV, uh, the object according to the, uh, to, the U to the seams you have added to the object. And currently we don't have any seams we have added. Uh, so that's why the, this, the unwrapping here is a bit messed up. So we're going to be adding seams. And uh, this is just like uh, adding marks where the, where Blender should cut uh, the object to get a non-stretching uh, map. So maybe we can start with a simple cube to demonstrate what I'm showing here. So if we unwrap this, uh, in Blender 2.8, now every object you add comes with some, with default UVs, it's already unwrapped here. And you can see we have, so this is the representation of this object in 2D. I uh, can see every face here is represented in this, you can see we have that, that. So it's just laying out uh, the object into a two, uh, flattening it out into a two D surface, and uh, you can change the way this unwraps uh, by setting uh, UV seams. So if we go to edit mode, make sure you are in edge mode, then you can select the edges you want to have seams you want uh, the object to be unwrapped in, and then hit Control E, then you will see the option uh, create edge seam, or go to, I think mesh, is it? Let me see, let me see. Let's see, wait, edge, you, you go to the top menu, edge, and then uh, max seam. Now, this is how we want this to unwrap, and then if we unwrap, you, sh you should notice here that uh, the UVs are going to change, after we unwrap, you can see that's how uh, uh, we have unwrapped. And uh, you can see we have some stretching here. So the way you UV unwrap, uh, you have to make sure that you minimize uh, stretching. And you can see all the faces here are, tri are, are squares, but uh, here we are seeing some kind of, uh, I don't know, chords. Yeah. It's not really squares. Uh, the faces are not in a square shape, so we need to as this means that uh, we have some stretching. So we can find other ways, other places to add seams. Like here, I think these spaces can be good. Or just go to the UV edit mode, UV edit uh, window here, and uh, select the places that are causing the stretching. So I think because this is connected to this, we are seeing this stretching. So if we select this edge here, and then Control E, max seam, uh, we can again unwrap here. So you can mark seams from the 3D window and uh, also from the UV window editor. You can see we marked the seam and it was also marked here. So if we unwrap again, you can see we have uh, moved that. So let's select this face. You can also turn on uh, this arrow here so that any face you select here uh, will be highlighted, will also be selected in the 3D window. So you can see that. So I can also, if say I want to mark, let me go to edge select, I can, I want to mark this as a seam, you can see it will be selected here, and I can control E, mark C, and if I unwrap this again, you can see it will be broken up like that, because uh, this is a separate island like that. So 
dun, 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 dun. but uh, we don't want this to be separate so we can uh, select those two uh, select that edge and uh, control e clear sim now if we unwrap again it's still connected we just need to uh, make this as a sim make this a sim control e max sim and we can also unwrap in this window just hitting you to unwrap like that let's see we have that you can also see how how much stretching you're getting from an object by adding uh, a new image uh, turn I change the color to change the generate type to from blank to UV grid to get this uh, square pattern uh, grid and uh, add it apply it as a texture to this to the object so we go to the shading then add a new material add texture image texture uh, connect the color to that and uh, in the image drop down select as uh, the new uh, image we added you can see we have it that you can see there is no stretching right now because our uvs are very well unwrapped our object is very well unwrapped but if we select everything clear sim to remove all the sims and then unwrap again it is still continuing to use the other user views be because it still has uh, the uh, the sims in memory so we can create new sims so go to edge mode select maybe that and that control e max sim and now if we unwrap we should clear out this uv and then apply a new uv based on uh, the sims we have created so unwrap you can see there's a lot of stretching so if we go to textured mode you can see the stretching is really bad you can see here so we can come back here so we see that uh, there is stretching here control e max sim unwrap you can see that then the stretching has been minimized a bit uh, we're also getting stretching here so we can add a sim here control e max sim unwrap again you see it is minimized as, uh, as well on this side on this face but uh, we still have it here so we can add maybe a sim here so it's all about experimenting and unwrap you can see we have that or you can just come in here you uh, because all of these are supposed to be uh, squares so you can find a way to mark sims that will make it that so that uh, everything is a square instead of those kind of uh, non squares things so we can see uh, most of these faces uh, they are not stretched uh, the pattern is rotated but uh, that's not something to worry about uh, what we should worry about is stretching you can see we have some stretching here so this this means that uh, we still need uh, some seams added to this area here so control e max seam unwrap again you can see we have successfully removed uh, the stretching uh, when you have a more complex model like this monkey uh, you might find that uh, it's it's not feasible or it's not easy to remove all the stretching and sometimes you have to go with uh, what you get so let's control let's let's add some smooth uh, shading to this and uh, sub -surf subdivision surfaces and uh, let's apply uh, our new material so that we have uh, the textures let me make sure that this has yeah this so again by default uh, this comes with uh, SUVs and you can see there is not a lot of stretching there is some bit of stretching here but uh, as I said uh, sometimes uh, when the object is a bit complicated you might uh, not be able to remove all uh, the stretching you, j you might be able to minimize it uh, but uh, you are not going to be able to remove all uh, the stretching so let's clear all these seams clear seam unwrap again you can see now this object doesn't have any seams uh, that's why you see we have a lot of stretching uh, you see we have the faces here are not the same here we are we are we are aiming to get uh, like square patterns here instead of these stretched out I uh, think so we want to me if we can't get uh, perfect squares we want to get something close to that so let's mark seams maybe now if you have uh, faces that are protruding out like this you always want to add a seam around uh, them so that they are separate from the main uh, things so you want to add a loop 
sim around that, so maybe it's control E. Let's make sure that this is an object. This is not separate. So this is separate. So we don't have to worry about that. This is also separate. So let's first hide these. Uh, so I see the ears are protruding out from this mesh. So we let's first turn off maybe subsurf here so that you can see the mesh perfectly. Uh, these ears, everything that is protruding out are uh, this much from a, from a bigger mesh uh, always causes a lot of stretching. And you can see if we turn on uh, this selection, oh, they're already turned on. So if we select uh, this face here, you can see it is here. So they cause a lot of stretching. So what you do, what you can do is uh, add a seam around like that. Control E, max seam, so that is separate, uh, so that this part is separate from the main mesh and it will reduce uh, the stretching you see there. So if we unwrap again, unwrap, you can see we have separated this, this ear from the rest of the mesh and we have reduced some of the stretching. So we also need to come in here. separate this ear from the rest of the mesh. Maybe separate it not that far, but from around here. Just need to make sure that the loop goes around all the way. Then control E, maxim, unwrap. And you can see the ear is, the ears are now less stretching, less stretched out. And uh, the entire mesh is also uh, has less stressing, st stretching. So if the object also has symmetry like this, you can also add a loop around, a seam around that symmetry. So the symmetry goes, uh, the, the center of the symmetry is here. So we can select, add a loop that goes around uh, like that. And control E, max seam unwrap and we will have two separate uh, meshes like this. But uh, because of the seam we have added, uh, sometimes it's hard to paint uh, and uh, it also adds this seam around areas. So you can see this, uh, this uh, pattern kind of cuts off around the seam here. Uh, so Sometimes you don't have to add the entire seam all the way, uh, mostly in, in areas where uh, that are going to be the center of focus. So we might remove, and also we, we can maintain, we can, I guess it's, it's okay to have this as separate meshes or eye lines like, like this, but uh, uh, if you're going to be texture painting, uh, you want to maintain a single mesh uh, for bigger parts like this. So uh, maybe what you can do is uh, remove this seam here. Not all of it, uh, just maybe from here to here. Mostly avoid seams that are going to be facing the camera directly. So we can leave it up to here. So then control E, clear seam. That will, that will maintain, uh, that will keep uh, this main mesh connected and uh, we won't have seam in front here and uh, it will be e easy for us to, to, to identify uh, where the face features are so we can see that these are the eyes, uh, we had ears here. So if you're painting, you can paint uh, knowing that you will have ears here, you will have ears here, you, ha you will have eyes here and eyes here, but uh, also this seam will also help you reduce some of the stretching. So we are also seeing a lot of stretching here, so we can also maybe add a seam around here, control E, max seam, a seam on this side, control E, max seam, then unwrap again and see we have reduced 
So the point is not to remove uh, all, the all, all the stretching because it's just to minimize uh, the stretching because it's very hard to remove all the stretching. So we have that and I think this is a fairly good uh, UV unwrap uh, with very little uh, stretching. So let's go on and uh, unwrap our shoe. So because we have, and it's a good idea to always hide uh, the seams uh, where the camera won't be able to see them. So if you have an object like this that has already uh, those kind of lines uh, or contours going through, go going all the way the mesh, going through the mesh, you can add, you can hide a surface turn off, uh, sub surf turn off all of these modifiers so that we can easily see. Maybe you can also turn off those bevel weights. So under overlays, uh, we have bevel, so we can only see the seam. So we can hide uh, the seam inside there. Maybe we don't want it to go all the way. So you can deselect this side. Then Control E, Max Seam, so we can unwrap again. Uh, let's also apply the same texture for previews. You can see we have a lot of stretching here, but uh, not on the back side. So we can separate also this uh, this sole of the shoes to from the uh, from the top part because it's going to be it's going to have a separate material. And I think it's a better idea to it's a good idea to separate all elements that are going to have a separate material from the other elements that are going to have the same material. So we can also add a seam here. And a good thing this loop goes all the way. So let's go to that. Okay, it doesn't. So we can come, make sure we continue this loop. Maxim, unwrap. So we ha we can see that the sole of the shoe is this. Ah, you can see now we have very little stretching here. Uh, we have a lot of stretching here. Uh, this is because we have this protruding extruded part here from the sole. And uh, remember, if you have anything that is extruded out by this much on your mesh, uh, make sure to give it a, a separate seam. Separate it from the, from the other objects so that you reduce that stretching. Control E, max seam. So unwrap. You can see we have reduced the stretching mostly on this sole, but uh, we can also uh, uh, remove some of the stretching we see here. So you can see this is the mesh here, it's here, uh, but uh, there's kind of a lot of stretching as you see here. So we can add some seams here, max seam, unwrap. You can see it reduced to reduce some of uh, the stretching. Yeah, so let's see if it's here. Now, if you want, maybe you can also add another s another seam around there, max seam. And you see, that's almost, it seems like there is no, s we have uh, removed all the stretching from that side. And now, let's see, where else can we add more seams? Yeah, I think we have done a good job here. Maybe the back side here. Let's find what where this is. Let's go to face select. So it is this side here. And I think we can separate it because it's we can separate it from uh, this, this top part here. Let's select these. Let's see where are these. So they are these here. So we can separate that and uh, it will also remove that stretching. So if we turn back the modifiers again, this is the UV we get. You can see there is almost no stretching anymore. See the bottom is well. Yeah, so that's how you UV unwrap in Blender 2.8. Uh, it's the same way you UV unwrap in Blender 2.7 and below. So thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe,